It is a city built for excess, where only the best of everything is on display and for sale. And thousands can be bet on a single game of cards. Las Vegas, Nevada is rebounding from the recession as the top income earners have more money to burn. But for the people who make their play possible, things aren't quite as good. People like Maria Yarmolio. She cleans hotel rooms for $14.86 an hour. She says it's not enough for her and her four kids, even though it's double the federal minimum wage. I feel like, you know, a lot of stress at home. I feel sad, you know. I had to sometimes I had to pay, I had to stop paying some bills to get food for my kids, you know. That's, that's my life every day. In the shadow of the gleaming gold tower where she works, she took part in this protest march, an attempt to get her co-workers to start a union in hopes that together they can demand better wages because the person she works for, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump, says a higher minimum wage would be bad for the country. It's a big debate in this campaign. American wages have barely increased since the recession. So the question for politicians, should the federal minimum wage be raised from the current level of $7.25 an hour? Democrats say it would actually help the economy. Right away you have this direct effect where people at the bottom of the income spectrum who really need the money get it. Um, but what you also see is that because they really need the money, so they spend it. And as that cycles through the economy, you create business opportunities and you know, there is a broader effect that's not just the people who are getting the increase. Republicans argue the opposite would actually happen. Doubling the minimum wage would not help the economy. It would make our businesses um, less competitive. It would likely mean higher prices and lower benefits for workers, and many individuals wouldn't even be able to get a job at all. Both sides say they have studies to back up their arguments. For Yarmolio, hers is a much more personal appeal. That's what they think that we do house cleaning, but we are a person, you know, we have a life at home like they do, you know, so we deserve to have better. Her boss disagrees, so her co-workers voted to form a union, hoping if they can't change his mind for the country, they can force him to change in one part of his business empire. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Las Vegas, Nevada.